everybody. Welcome to the Food Rebel Eats podcast. I'm Jody, and I'm here to teach you the truth about food. Understanding how my body works, how food works, and how we actually have all the power to create the health and the bodies that we want has changed my life. So I'm here to make this so simple, so clear, and to help you have complete certainty that you can have the healthy body that you deserve. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Food Rebel Eats podcast and I'm recording this from my sauna where I record most of my episodes. So it is 124 degrees in here and I have not started to sweat yet because it takes me a long time. So today, I want to talk about willpower, and I have a few things to say that aren't probably what you think I'm going to say. So um, I was answering a client's question about this in my boot camp, and I thought this is really good. I want um, to share it with everybody. So here we go. So if you've been finding yourself not following through on health habits, things that you know to do, things that you know the healthy version of you would be doing, or things that um, you just, yeah, you're just not showing up for, okay? So here's the first thing that I want you to look at. Whenever you are saying that you need willpower to make yourself do something, the best tip I have for you is don't do that. Don't make yourself do something that you don't want to do. What we need to do is understand that like this is all psychology, you guys. It's all about getting into your head and listening a little bit closer to what's really going on. So you've probably heard this phrase before, inspiration, not motivation, or something to that liking. It's it's basically this, a concept that we're talking about. If you think you need willpower. So willpower to me feels like I'm going to bulldoze over something that I'm feeling and just make myself do it anyways. Um, but what I want you to do is to look at and recognize, first of all, that there's just a part of you that doesn't want to do something. Okay. So yes, you want the goal. So let's say you want to, this is my light and lean boot camp. So you want to be leaner and you want to be lighter and you want to have a healthy digestive system and flat stomach and no bloating, all of those good things that everybody wants. Um, so if you, if you are not following through on things that are part of your program or plan, then there's part of you that doesn't want either the outcome or you just don't want to do it that way, okay? And so this is why coaches, people that help people move to towards the goals always say that you need to make the process enjoyable. You have to make the process pleasurable, enjoy the journey, enjoy the path, whatever, and, but this is why, because you won't do it otherwise. Like you literally won't do it. Humans are not going to do things they hate. Or if you do, it's going to feel really hard. You're going to feel like you're forcing it. You're going to feel like it's difficult. And you're going to feel like you need motivation and willpower to make yourself do this thing that you really don't want to do. So the first thing I want you to do is check in and ask yourself, okay, yes, you want this goal with your health and your body, that's cool. But have you set yourself up for failure? Um, Have you set yourself up to sabotage yourself? Have you set yourself up to make it harder than it needs to be? So what I told my client is, first of all, you want to remember that any change you make, like an upgrade, it's like an incremental upgrade, is going to be felt by the body. Now, to the degree that you notice changes, that's going to come with 
con- with consistency, repetition, and making more moves, right, with your body, with your health. So the reason I'm saying this is you don't have to push yourself beyond what you're ready for. It's that ready to be ready concept. Yes, you can decide I want to lose some weight in a healthy way, okay? That doesn't mean that you need to do it a certain way, and here's why. So something I've recently realized is that I need to be better at meeting people where they are, okay? So for me, like, yeah, it is so easy. Like, it's so easy. It's brainless. Like, I don't have to think about anything that I do in terms of food or working out or health. It's like, I have to do it. I want to do it. It's who I am. Like, there's no battle there, right? I'm inspired, you could say, naturally to do it. Um, and so the things that I do might seem like way bizarro, hard, difficult, or strange to many people, okay? So like, <laughs> for example, I was showing my boot camp a picture of like a snack that I had before my workout the other day, and it was, okay, so... Um, it was just like romaine lettuce leaves and some like small little clementine oranges and a banana. And I thought like when I'm eating this, you guys like I'm doing it because I know what it gives me and it keeps my stomach light, right? Which is the point like before a workout, you don't want to feel heavy and have to fight with the digestive process. That's like a different topic. I have a podcast about that. Anyway, um, so I'm like, oh, this is such a good idea. I'll share it with my boot camp <laughs> because it's like hydration and it's glucose, which the body needs, especially pre-workout, but it needs it all the time, which is why we eat mostly plants. So I did that and one of my clients was like, that is, that just seems bizarre to me, you know, and that's fine because you don't have to eat like I eat. You don't have to do what I do. But what you do need to do is identify within your own life, within your own patterns, within your own habits, what needs to shift and needs to change so that you believe that it's going to support your body and that you believe that it's going to be a difference maker. Okay. So like you don't have to drink 32 ounces of green juice in the morning which I do now most days, most days, not every day. And that I get, it's like a lot. So, but I didn't start there, you know, like when I started, I just ate more vegetables. Like if I go way back, I just ate more vegetables and I ate like Boca burgers, which were made of soy, which now I don't eat at all. Right. So what I want you to see is that it's about you moving to the next step from wherever you are. Because when you do that, it's not going to feel like you're pushing yourself too hard or pushing yourself too far. And it's going to be easier to make the moves. Okay. So side note, I have a video on my YouTube channel called Make Your Move, which would be a great um, tool or resource for you if you're wanting to get healthier and like make a, make a step um, and practice that step. So that's on my YouTube channel. I'll link it below. So (sighs) willpower, it's like required when you're like, I don't want to do this. Like, I don't like doing this. I don't like eating like this. This is dumb. You know, like what you have to do is stop fighting that part of yourself that doesn't want to do it and listen to what's really going on. So let's say the, in this case, you, um, you say like, well, this doesn't, taste good to me, like these salads or foods or whatever. I don't like eating raw vegetables. Then cool. So listen, you don't have to, right? But it is required from, I don't know, this is my belief, you guys, but from a health perspective that eating more whole foods, a lot of plants, you need vegetables to turn on the right processes of your body. So your body does all the work for you. It's doing it anyway. Okay, so it's to our greatest benefit and most ease to get health in the body we want to eat really nice foods that support this body that we have. It's just like putting the right fuel in the right thing. So, but that doesn't mean you need to eat raw. You don't have to eat salads. There's other ways to make, to get leafy greens in your body, and I'm going to do a podcast episode. That's going to be the next one uh, because it is a powerful thing to do. But you don't have to eat raw. You don't have to eat giant salads. I love eating giant salads. Like, 
that's my meal. Like I fill a small pottery barn bowl just for myself. Sometimes I fill it up again at nighttime and eat two of them. But that's me. Like my body shifted from, you know, wherever I started to here and here and here and here. And now like I crave loads of raw leafy greens. Okay. But it's okay if you don't start where you are. So get vegetables in a different way. Like maybe you like them sauteed. Maybe you like them steamed. Maybe you like them air fried. Maybe you like them roasted, whatever, you know, just do something that's going to get more nutrient density into your body in a way that you're going to be like, I like eating this. Okay. There has to be that like factor there. There has to be that appreciation for one, the food and what it's giving you, knowing that it's helping you move towards a healthier body and feeling good and doing it in a way for yourself because you love yourself also enough, not just to eat more vegetables, but you love yourself enough to let yourself do it in a way that you want to do it. Okay. Like you have to honor your desire. So we don't just have a desire to change our body and to be healthier and feel more energy and all those things. We have a desire to feel good in the process, right? Like I was saying. So what's required of that is for you to let yourself do things that you want to do. And I truly believe that doesn't mean that you're going to want to eat like Doritos and cheese it's all day long because those foods aren't even real and you know they're going to create a response in the body that isn't going to match up with your goal in in my opinion so i say this all the time but you will naturally be drawn to do new things once you start the ball rolling and so this is really a conversation about how do you get the ball rolling enough to create momentum towards more healthy habits towards more positive lifestyle changes right and that's really what the whole purpose of my boot camp was was to get people on board with a plan that they decide on in the beginning based on my guidance um, as to what's going to move the needle and what's going to be like something that supports their lifestyle and supports them and supports their preferences and things like that. So if you're finding you need a lot of willpower, I think you need to look at, are you making yourself do something that you don't want to do or doing it in a way that you don't want to do it? And so what would be the answers to those questions? And then what could you do instead? Okay. So answer those and then see what comes through and do those things so that you are still making positive changes. You're still moving forward on a health process because you're going to get your goal, right? Because you're going to be healthier and you're going to like it. (laughs) Okay. You're going to like it. I'm telling you, you're going to like it. So, but you have to let yourself like it. Okay. Now here's the next point. The next point is do you really want it? Okay. So it's true that you can do the bulldozer effect. This is funny. We're talking about trucks because Dash is obsessed. He like sings the excavator song from Blippi. Only if you're a mom, do you, will you know what that is? So you can bulldoze over like things in the way that things in the way would be like your mind telling you, but I don't really feel like doing this. I don't want to do that. Or I'd rather eat take out or anything. Um, and when you want something badly enough, you'll just like, you'll just drive yourself into it. Okay. But that's not always the easiest path. Okay. So, but it is important to look at, do you want this? And then ask yourself why? Okay. Why do I want to lose weight? Why do I want to heal my gut? Why do I want a stomach that doesn't get bloated after I eat? Like some of these, you're like, duh, those are obvious. I know they're obvious, but you have to like go towards that. That's that's what will help this whole process become more easy and natural, right? When you know you're moving to this end goal, which there's never no, there's never an end, but this goal where you've upgraded your health and you feel amazing. You feel so much better. And you have to remember like that's where you're going and you're going to get there. So you have to like dwell in the energy of like all the positive things that come with you in your healthy body. So 
you want to talk to yourself about, well, why do I want this? Well, I want to feel good in my clothes. I want to feel confident in my clothes. I want to feel confident at just more confident. And yes, like you can practice doing that before. But again, like, why do you want this thing? Well, I, I don't want my stomach to hurt. I want to feel ease with food. I want to feel joy with food. I want to feel like it's simple with food. Maybe it's like, I want to feed my family healthy things. Like I want a long, I want longevity. I want vitality. I want clear skin, all these things. Right. So when you talk about that, those are like good and like intriguing and like enticing. And you're just like drawn to like do things towards that versus I have to eat more vegetables so I can lose weight. You know, it's more of like, I have to do this thing that I don't like to do and I haven't lost the weight yet. So you're not in the right state of mind. So focus on the desire because it has to drive you. It literally does. Like what, what the heck is the point of this? It's because you want the change, right? You want the change. And if you don't want the change, or maybe it's not the time yet, you're not ready yet, then don't do it now. Okay. You probably never thought you would hear a health person say, don't, don't get, don't make health, healthy changes. Don't make healthy changes that you're not ready for, but you can get ready in a few minutes. If you like would talk to yourself in a nice way in your mind and think and like figure out what's really going on. Okay. But do take the small step. So that's why I made that video on my YouTube channel called make your move because it is about making steps so that these steps don't feel like a big deal anymore. Okay. So you can tackle things one by one or you can do everything at the same time. It just kind of really depends on your personality. It depends on your readiness level. It depends on, yeah, like timing sometimes. Um, you know, you can do anything you want at any time. I'm totally an all in person and it works for me. Okay. That's why I have videos on YouTube about like, just go all in because it's, it's easier, but it, maybe it's not easier for you. Right. So maybe your first move is I'm going to get a healthy lunch in my body because this is one that I see so many people kind of break their momentum through. It's because they don't eat enough in the day. And then at night you like, you can't help it when your body's like, literally, dude, I'm starving. I need food. I need glucose. And then you just eat whatever. Cause you like literally need to eat something. Right. I've been there. Um, so maybe your move or maybe your habit you need to tackle is how can I get vegetables and like some, excuse me, some kind of plant protein or animal protein that's healthy, um, in my body at lunch? How can I create an environment where I have real food to eat? How can I create, um, a way of prepping or cooking or buying things that I need to have on hand so I can do an easy, quick, healthy meal? So, you know, it's like in theory, it's so simple, but it really does take some backtracking to see like, okay, because I could tell you just by you know, frozen organic veggie burgers, um, because you can cook them in your air fryer in a few minutes. But again, that takes, well, which ones do I buy? Why do I want this? What ingredients do I want to avoid? And do you have an air fryer? Do you have something to where you can cook it fast? Or do you have other vegetables to fill the meal out with, right? It's about preparation. It's about knowing how to shop. It's about all of that stuff, putting it together into a lifestyle, right? So that's why I'm so big on teaching the lifestyle of eating plant-based. And that's what's coming up in my Fueled and Focus program. So if you're interested in that, it's literally all the how-tos. First, we understand why we're doing these things, right? When we can connect clearly, when I eat these foods, when I eat this way, my body's automatically going to heal things, cleanse things, release things, drop the inflammation, drop the weight, then you're going to be more inspired to do those things, right? In a way that you get to define and make your own. But there is some like practicality to this, like, well, what, what am I looking for on a label? What do I need to buy? How do I stock my kitchen? And on and on and on, right? Simple cooking. So that's what that course is. Um, but like back to willpower, 
you know, do you need to start smaller or do you need to just focus on a specific thing and like look all the way through it and around it to see what needs to happen for you to be successful in that, in that. That's what, that's what needs to happen, um, in order to master a habit. Okay. So what are you able to master at this time and how important is it to you? Okay. So always ask yourself, why do I want this? Why do I want this right now? And how important is it to me right now? Okay, then you'll know more about what to do and how to help yourself to get there in a way that you like doing and you want to do. Okay, um, so it really is about giving yourself permission to know that every positive change is going to be received by your body and it's going to make you feel better. Every little thing will help you feel better, even drinking more water, especially drinking more water, especially drinking more water in the morning and at night, okay? Um, So you don't have to overwhelm yourself. That is definitely not the goal, okay? The goal is to make moves that you're ready to make in ways you want to make them that align with true health, right? So that's why I'm so big on these are the foods. This is how we build a food. This is how we build a diet that's plant based. Not, not only plants. Not vegan. Whatever. I'm not into the labels. I'm into the food. The food is what matters, you guys. The food is what matters, and also your mentality about it all. So, you um, can get ready. You know, um, and when it's time, nothing will be able to stop you you know, you'll, you'll figure it out. So, um, but just give yourself that permission to do things you want in ways that you want and know that that is good enough. Okay. So I hope this really helped you. If you're interested in coaching or support, check out field and focus. It's starting in a couple weeks and I have one-to-one options on my website as well. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.